Hello everyone. Sunset, sunrise. Um, well, it's more like sunset vibes right now. I'm right now just chilling at the park, really enjoying myself. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to get the trees. Like, I'm really, really loving the trees right now. All right, I'm actually just bending a little like this. This is annoying. Real quick. <laughs> you know, just chilling, got my little black pants. Got finished doing errands, so this was my outfit today. But I don't feel like kneeling down for shit right now, so we're just gonna sit on the bleachers. Since I was trying to do different, um, try different looks and whatnot. Oh, I just wasn't feeling that one. This one's better. I can sit down and I have to kneel. But anyway, hi guys. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hmm. It's been a good day for me, man. This could have been a good day. I hope everyone else is having a good day. I've just been really busy. Working, working, working. You know, just going with the flow. You know, just like any old Joe on the sidewalk and whatnot. Just doing what we gotta do um let's see what do i feel like talking about today 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 um i want to talk about actually more on how i honor my ancestors like just a little bit of the things that i do that I like to do, how I honor my personal ancestors, um, how it keeps me at a calm disposition about life. I'm pretty much calm about everything. It's the little things, like whenever I feel like dancing, in my mind, it's an offering to my ancestors when I dance. It's an offering. When I sing, it's an offering to my ancestors when I sing. Whenever I use my voice, even when it's just talking, interacting with others, it's an offering. Um, the foods I eat, even if I don't got much money to get what I need, healthy, healthy, healthy wise, but make what I have work, I honor my ancestors with that. You know, every any little thing. Um, just always keeps me at peace, but I'm still use I'm still laser focused as usual. <laughs> laser focused on the goal, as everyone else should be. Just laser focused on the goal, not distracted. Don't give yourself distractions. You know you can play Cupid at a time and place, but you know it's all about getting that foundation together first. You know. That way, you know, you can rest one day, just rest your mind, whatever, and you can watch your little ones grow up, and they can finally rest. You know, I don't know. I'm, a, You know what, let's talk about atmospheres. Yeah, I'm feeling atmospheres right now. Because right now I keep getting this question... Um, how do I stay so calm? You know, no matter what happens to me, why do I stay so calm? It's the atmosphere, I, you know, that I I make sure I keep intact around myself, as well as the help of my ancestors, of course, protecting me, and those real close to me, to my heart, those, you know, those that are close. Um... But what I do on my end is I just keep my atmosphere at a comfort level for myself. I say comfort level, meaning, you know, I like to have my atmospheres peaceful. Um, if I can help it, you know, just stillness, the quiet, 
just hearing simple things like the wind, just being outside. Forgive me. Like I gotta look at myself or whatever. But anyway, just hearing the wind, hearing the birds, you know. Um, and if I'm feeling any other emotion, because we all feel all kinds of emotions, right? When I feel any other emotion, I just cancel that out with some songs that I have already on my playlist that I use to cancel out energy that is not mine. Kick that shit right out the fucking circle. Kick it out of the energetic field, that energetic bubble. Because it's not your energy. If it's not giving you happiness, if it's not giving you joy, you know, if it's not giving you joy in your heart, joy on your mind, if it doesn't soothe you in any way, anything that worries you, you know what I mean? Anything that worries you, that stresses you out, that puts you in a discontent state of mind, you know, try to have some kind of energetic, um, some kind of energetic medicine of your own, of your own sort that you know will work each and every time to cancel whatever emotion you're feeling. Whenever you feel like that, like say, say if I was frustrated, right? About something, it could be anything. Um, I'll just play a couple of songs that I have on my playlist that gets my energy back balanced again. And sometimes, you know, some frequencies, some energies that um, you may be feeling or, you know, feeling <laughs> the energy that is in motion, the emotions that you feel, sometimes might need to be canceled out by certain songs or certain just instrumentals. But if what you're feeling is intense, like for me, if it's intense what I'm feeling, um... I might play some Ice Cube, you feel me? I might play some some other artists that helps me out, balance me out. It's an energetic thing. As long as you know exactly how to balance your own energy field out, no one can tell you shit. Because you have to deal with being in that atmosphere that you create for yourself anyway, right? So since you have to be in your own atmosphere anyway, you might as well make that atmosphere the most nourishing atmosphere that you can possibly make it. Why not? Why not? You know, the most that I talk in a day is to you guys. For real. I can literally just be in my own bubble. Because I made, like, I created my atmosphere over the years, you know, atmosphere, my energetic field. No matter where I go, even if I'm at work, I'm surrounded by people. My atmosphere is still there. I'm cool and I'm chilling. But um, the atmosphere that I created for myself for all these years, and I made it strong and strong and strong as I got older, um, definitely helped me just, but I could not talk all day but still be in a great mood. It's like that. I cannot talk to anybody all day. And I'm chill. You know, I'm chill. Because I know the... I know the plan. You know, I know the plan... I know the plan for... That my ancestors have for me. I know the plan that spirit has for me. That, that the universe has for me. Therefore, any other distractions that is not a part of that plan, that doesn't bring me sooth, soothness to my well-being, that doesn't, that's not healthy, basically. To be in my atmosphere, to linger in my atmosphere, gotta go. And don't feel bad about it. The fuck? Don't feel bad about it. There's no need to feel bad about it. Because who would be suffering at the end of the day because you left something in your atmosphere and you have to deal with it? You. 
you. You have to deal with whatever that is in your own atmosphere. If it's toxic, you got to deal with that shit. But if it's healthy, it helps a lot that you just kick that toxicity out of your bubble. So you can <sighs> be able to breathe a little bit. Just saying. You can breathe a little bit, man. You know... You got nobody influencing you, nobody adding like all kinds of extra, extra, overly empty conversations in your head that has nothing to do with nourishing you. you want to dump all that straight to the trash because it's not good for your atmosphere, you know? Have kind of like a feng shui kind of thing with your atmosphere, you know? And um, once you fix your energetic field, or, you know, if you improve it, make it healthier, you'll be pretty happy because you'll just be at stillness. You'll be at peace. But that's what I do. Um, I'm mindful of every little thing I do. You know, I, I try to be as much as possible. So... Well, straight up, I'm mindful of everything I do. Straight up. So, because of that, um, I just honor every little thing that I do towards my ancestors. Towards spirit, you know. All the encompassing spirit. The universe. Ancestors. You know, speaking a religious tongue. God, we are talking about the same thing here. You know. Hear that? Yeah, y'all hearing that right. This helicopter is literally right above my head. Like a little to the side, but right above. Man. Which is weird because ain't today a rainy day? But on my side of town, it's a rainy day over here. And they're just taking their time, just flying through the sky, taking their time. <laughs> but I expect it though. It happens all the damn time whenever I go outside. Especially if it's a clear day outside and there's not too much clouds. But it feels great. Like, pay attention to only things that give you peace. That will improve your atmosphere. Pay attention to things that nourishes your soul. That soothes you. That will increase your atmosphere. That will increase the peace and stillness of your atmosphere. God, it's getting a little chilly now. Hold up, guys. I need to put my jacket on. Oh, God, yeah. It's getting chilly. I try to keep... You know, I try to keep... Um... Try to just do the shirt and the hat thing, but sorry, I don't know. I got to be covered. It is so windy out here, but I'm enjoying it because it's not raining. I'm so glad it's not raining. But anyway, um, your atmosphere, your atmosphere, your atmosphere. Give me a second. I'm just gonna look at myself. <laughs> anyway, um, the atmosphere here. It's important. No matter where you go, no matter who you with, no matter who you're surrounded by, no matter, no matter, no matter. Even if you're just standing outside of your home, if you're at work, you're making an errand, you're in your car. It doesn't matter where you are. Wherever you are, your atmosphere is. But I'm not home. Your atmosphere is wherever you are. That's your atmosphere. That's the atmosphere I'm talking about. If you want to increase the peace of your atmosphere, then increase it, baby. Just increase the peace. How do you do that? Pay more attention to things that keeps you at ease, that keeps you nourished, that keeps you flowing. Going with the flow. You're just flowing. You know, pay attention to things that make you smile.
pay attention to things that make you laugh. Why not? You know, just pay attention to lighthearted things. Um, and yeah, that's what I do to increase my atmosphere. Um, let me think if there's anything more that I want you guys to take as a nugget on the topic of atmospheres. Um, like for me, myself, and I, I use myself as an example. For me, myself, and I, um, the atmosphere that I have built for myself right now is just one of stillness, S-T-I-L-L-N-E-S-S, -S, stillness. Um, of peace, nourishing vibes all the time. Even if I'm around people that are not nourishing and I have to work around them or whatever it may be, no matter who you're around, whatever. Like, my vibes are still nourishing anyway. Worst comes to worst, I just put some plugs on my ears, you know, vibe out. Vibrate back home, you know what I mean? Like, vibrate back to your energetic field. Just vibrate back, like, <laughs> okay, I'm good. Vibrate back home whenever you feel like you're not home no more energetically. Vibrate back home. That's how you can keep your atmosphere intact. Keep it peaceful. Keep it still. Um basically you know oh that's cute they're having a picnic so that's what it's about have a damn picnic you know you got the blanket on the on grass you know you got the people that you like to be around or you love whatever you got your little food and your little basket thing man oh let me finish telling you guys about the atmosphere that I felt so I'm at peace with myself so much so to where, like, there ain't no breaking that. I spent too long for years building this peaceful atmosphere to where, now that I've built my energetic atmosphere and I made it really peaceful, I'm only attracting peaceful things, people, places, and more atmospheres that are like my atmosphere. You know, um, my mindset for the reason why I created this atmosphere for myself is because I wanted to one day be able to have the luxury of just living peacefully by myself with my loved one as a happy mama. I wanted to live peacefully by myself with my loved one as a happy mama, okay? Still don't wanna have sex. Still don't want a boyfriend. Still don't wanna get married. Still don't wanna even play around and have a one night stand. Still don't wanna do shit like that. You know, I was building this energy even while I was doing all those things. You know, I was building this energy anyway. Um, but had I had my own place back then, I probably would have never done it. You know, I probably would never really had sex like that because I am so happy at my own. I'm just in my own peaceful bubble, you know. I don't know, but yeah, so that's what I'm vibrating towards, you know, that's my home vibration, I'm vibrating towards that, well, my home vibration is actually with my ancestors, so no one can really follow me to where I meet my ancestors, you know what I mean, no one can read any book 
no one can listen to any podcast or even talk to anybody of age or from a particular country or whatever the fuck to try to gain more insight and knowledge into where my ancestors may dwell. Understand, my ancestors walk with me and with any seed I produce. My ancestors walk with me and with any seed I produce. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Airplane. I've been eating them hot noodles, man. Those hot noodles. They get the job done. Those noodles, man, those noodles. But yeah, so I'm very precise with what I want. I'm very precise with what I want to create for myself. I'm really precise with seeing it through. And I'm really precise with making sure and not have to worry about anyone stopping me or any force or any or any sneaky spirit that tries to host another body that's not theirs and you know whatever the fuck it doesn't matter it doesn't matter I let it go I forgive everyone in the past and I just keep going like it never happened Cause in my world, that's how I carry myself. I carry myself like the past never happened. I know I got somewhere to be at though. And my ancestors are right there with me, walking with me. And any seed I produce, my ancestors are walking with them. Yes, my ancestors are walking with them as well. They see everything. So anyone trying to be slick looking at these videos, trying to get clues, you're not slick. Because they were already watching you. Okay. Okay. They were already watching you. Okay. I had two weird ass calls today, which I never answered. And from time to time, I get this. A whole fake ass name would be on there as like their caller ID. Obviously, I don't know the motherfucker, so why would I answer? So, I just laugh it off. I'm like, you know what? After I work today, I feel like doing the video, so that's what I'm here. I'm doing. But none of you guys are slick, though. Sorry, not sorry. None of you guys are slick, man. Start loving on yourself, seriously. You know, it. it's not going to help you in the long run if you keep, I don't know. It's just not going to help. Back to the atmosphere. Um... Focus on things that make you happy. Focus on things that keeps you at peace. Stillness. Nourishing. Things that grows. You know, like trees, plants, flowers. Things that move in a healthy way and healthy cycles like the sun, the moon. You know. So... Focus on that. Make sure you laugh a lot. You gotta laugh a whole lot. Smile. All of that, man. 
I'm sorry. In the background, I'm really enjoying the sounds of the wind through those trees, dude. It is so peaceful. But anyway, um, I don't know. Go to the park like I do. Go to the park. If it's too stuffy in the house, go ahead and get you a breath of fresh air, okay? Get your breath of fresh air. It's worth it. These are so good. I got so much candy here, man. But they're like the healthy candy. I like they're like mango flavor and tamarind. Ooh, there's chili on the inside. Those are my favorite. Give me a second, guys. Let me see something. But yeah, your atmosphere. Think of your atmosphere as like the real you. What a, what a, what about them knockers? What about them knockers? Think of your atmosphere as like the real you. Yeah. Think of your atmosphere as like the real you. Because in a way, it kind of is. Your atmosphere is the real you. Whatever that you're willing to tolerate, whatever that you're willing to let in your space, in your atmosphere, whatever that you're willing to consume, what you're willing to give out is your atmosphere. What you give out, atmospherically wise, that's not a word, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Um, when you speak, you're speaking the atmosphere that you're in, energetically speaking, because you're in your own energetic bubble, right? So since you're in your own 